Hello and welcome to Monday's edition of CNY Weathertainment. I'm Jeff Matthews and uh, I would encourage you that if you're a small business owner, go to my contact me page after this, of course, and contact me and let me know if you'd like to sponsor one of the weather pages. I'd love to have you on board because I'm all about small business. I am one myself and I'd like to help push your product and promote your business as well. Also, if you watched the lunar eclipse, the super moon lunar eclipse last night, send me pictures, especially if you took uh, time, time stopped action shots, in other words, multiple photos through the phases. I'd like to show them on our pictures page. We have a viewer picture page that I'd like to encourage you to send me those pictures that I can use them. The full super moon eclipse last night, now it was a super moon because it's closest to the earth in its eccentric orbit, like an egg. Okay, It was closest to the earth in this particular phase of a full moon. So that made it a super moon. You combine that with the full moon and the eclipse, and boy, oh boy, many of us who saw it, just so happy that the cloud cover, especially the heavier cloud cover, held off long enough to check it out. A big thermal cliff is coming our way Wednesday, so there's a big temperature drop off coming our way. For today, you just have sprinkles, and tonight you have sprinkles or jimmies, depending on what you like on your ice cream. But then a better chance for actual rain on Tuesday. Breezes are picking up today and tomorrow, too. Averages at 63 for a high. We'll be about 10 or 12 above that today and tomorrow. There's your thermal cliff as we chase the average down through the 60s and down to the high 50s by the weekend. Meanwhile, radar from Thursday. Big dip in the jet stream carrying the rain to our west. By Friday, it had already lifted into eastern Canada. That dip in the jet stream then began lifting northwards over the weekend, but it fractured off the southern piece of it to cause an upper level low, upper level storm. Okay, That storm is driving this moisture slowly northwards. Now, as you can also see, it was heavier rain across uh, Georgia and Florida, but now it's weakened to just pixelated, very light showers and sprinkles across the Virginias and now Pennsylvania, moving into New Jersey and eventually New York State today. That storm, while weakened as it is, you can see the moisture by that upper level storm to the west of it, drawing the moisture northwards in our backyard. So a pretty cloudy day in the forecast for today. And as it combines forces with the cool front coming in for the Thermal Cliff Wednesday, the chance for rain will increase. So there's the moisture drifting northwards. Say bye-bye to that high pressure system that guarded us for the weekend. A few sprinkles may drift in today from time to time or tonight, but as that storm lifts northwards and joins forces with the incoming low pressure area across the Great Lakes, our chances of rain really dramatically increase as we get into Tuesday. Meanwhile, your almanac. 70 for Saturday, I said 72. 73 for Sunday, I said 72. Nothing in the rain gauge. Sun sets before 7 p.m., 11.53 of daylight, and your forecast is next. Welcome to intermission. Yeah, intermission. go with a day off from the music. I think I'll save it to make it more special and unique when it comes on. But for today, we're talking about mainly gray morning and afternoon, a high of about 74, and a breezy south wind, which will stay up tonight out of the south. A few sprinkles today, a few sprinkles tonight, but the rain shower activity really holds off until tomorrow. Occasional showers, your seven-day forecast, the rain ends tomorrow evening, rapid clearing with bright weather for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and even Saturday with increasing clouds, and then the cooler weather is combined with incoming rain, which will probably turn Mon Sunday into an absolute washout, at least that's the way it looks at this point. So sprinkles today and tonight, some showers Tuesday, much cooler for the rest of the week. Have a great day.